Well, we want to welcome you to my yo yo. Once upon a time, there was a trishaw called A Ting, whom her friends called Ting for short. One of Ting's friends was Marty the MRT. Although the two of them were so different, they got along pretty well. Hey Marty, which station will you be at tonight at 7.05? Somerset Station, of course. You should know my stops by now. Just wanted to check. Maybe I'll meet you there after I drop the tourists at Raffles Hotel. Are you sure? I don't think you can catch up. You know they don't call me Marty the Mighty for nothing. I know you're super fast, but I think I can make it. Slow and steady, right? You're not steady anymore, old friend. That's the problem with Marty. He was really quite nice on the whole, but he just had a big ego. He likes to boast about his speed and how cool he looks. And sometimes he says things to hurt other people's feelings without meaning to it. Marty, just because I'm not modern and you like you, doesn't mean I'm not good at what I do. But how can you stand being so slow? I would be so bored if I had to go at Totti's pace. Hey, I'll have you know the tourists appreciate my speed. That way, they can see the wonderful sights of Singapore. Still, at a lack of speed, still seems very boring to me. Ah, uh, no offense. <laughs> But Ting was offended, and she thought it's time to teach her young boastful friend a lesson. <sighs> Marty, wait up! I've got something to tell you. What's up? You look out of breath. Need me pull you along? I wanted to suggest something I think you enjoy. Does it involve speed? If so, call me in. As a matter of fact, yes. I want to challenge you to a race. What? I thought I heard wrong. I thought I heard you say you want to race me. You heard right. I want to race you from Raffles Place to Somerset Station. If I win, you have to promise never to make fun of my slow and steady ways again. And if I win? If you win, I promise to call you Mighty Marty for a whole month. You're on. This is going to be one easy race. Okay, we'll make the race three days from now. I'll meet you at Raffles Place Station at 6.50 p.m. sharp. Don't be late. Are you kidding? Are you sure you don't want to concede defeat now? It will save you the humiliation later. Marty, Marty. I like you, but sometimes you're too big for your wheels. Remember, don't be late. For the next few days, Ting spent her time preparing for the race. She had a plan and hoped that she would succeed. She studied the road maps and took note of all the shortcuts. And then she studied the MRT system map and jotted down the arrival and departure time. And finally, on the day of the race, she went to Raffles Place Station on the dot at 6.50 p.m. Oh, good. You're on time. Wouldn't miss this for the world. Get ready to eat my dust. Okay, on your marks, get set, go! Da -da 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 -da. Doors closing! Da -da -da. Whatever was Ting up to? Had she lost her bell? Did she develop a flat tyre? Not at all! The clever trishaw memorised all the shortcut routes from Raffles Place Station to Somerset Station. Because she was so small and not bound by the rail tracks, she could dart in and out of little lanes and alleys. Da -da 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 -da. Doors closing. <laughs> I'm ready at City Hall. Two more stops to go. But poor old Tang is still stuck in Raffles Place. 
But what Clever Ting knew and Monty didn't realize was that Monty had to go through City Hall and Dobby Got stations to get to Somerset Station. These two stations were usually very busy interchanges. And Marty had to wait a bit longer for many passengers to change trains. This would cost him some precious time. It didn't help that a child had dropped his wallet on the tracks. This meant further delay for Marty. It was something that Ting didn't plan for. Maybe someone beside Ting really wanted to teach Marty a lesson in humility. Doors closing. Doors closing. Doors closing. Oh, come on. What is taking so long? I need to get to the next station now. In the meantime, Ting had already woven her way through the traffic and was making her way to Somerset Station. Oh, there you are. What took you so long? Ciao. Drop wallet on tracks. Delay. Even then, I don't believe it. How can you get here so quickly? Slow and steady, my friend. Slow and steady. With a bit of careful planning, with a whole lot of luck. Well, from that day on, Marty the MRT never made fun of Ting again. He had learned a huge lesson on humility. And as for Ting the Trishaw, what she likes in speed was more than made up for in wit and wisdom. Because you know what they say, slow and steady wins the race. to different countries to look at the cool transport over there. How about we go in by mm, aeroplane? What about a train? Choo-choo! No, we'll be using a special type of transport today. What? A helicopter? A hot air balloon? We will be using imagination. We will be using an imaginary plane to take us to these places to take a look at the different types of transport. Cool! I'm ready! All right, now, the both of you, we are going to fasten our seatbelts. And adjusting controls. Let's go! And we landed! Whoa! Whoa! Well, we came. Well, we're in Thailand. And in Thailand, they use a special type of transport called the tuk-tuk. Tuk-tuk? What a cool name. Well, they're called tuk-tuk because the engine makes the sound. You see, tuk-tuks are small and they can go through the heavy traffic jams. So people use tuk-tuks as taxis? Well, usually for tuk-tuks, the tuk-tuk driver will sit in front and two to three passengers will sit at the back. I noticed Tuk Tuk only has three wheels. I wonder, 
when can I sit in one? Well, maybe you will one day. Now, are we ready to head on to our next country? Yeah! Great! Fasten your seatbelts. Readjusting controls. And... <laughs> We've landed! <laughs> Where are we now? Uh, well, right now, we are in Philippines. And just by the roadside, do you see a jeepney? Wow, the jeepney looks so colourful. Are all jeepneys like that? Well, most jeepney owners like to decorate their jeepneys and compete with each other to see which jeepney is most creative and colourful. And they do this by decorating the sides of the jeepney. Who uses a jeepney? Well, almost everyone. It's just like a bus with bus stops. Now, the both of you, are you ready for our last destination? Yep. Yes. Okay, fasten your seatbelt. And readjusting controls. And let's go! Where do we land it? Which country now? Well, right now, we're in Cambodia. This is the part in Cambodia where trains are made out of bamboo. And such trains are called the nori. Wow, that looks like fun! Do these children take this bamboo train to get to school? Like how I take the papa school bus? I imagine they would. Do you take your school bus to school, Kim? Well, actually, I live really near school, so I walk to school. Hey, I have an idea. How about let's find out how the children in Singapore and other parts of the world get to school? <laughs> Again for being late. Why are you late, Yo Yo? Aren't the both of you supposed to come here together? Yeah, but today I came from football training. And Daddy picked me up late as she went for a meeting. Then how do you get here? By Daddy's mm, car. <laughs> then how do you get to school? By the school bus? I see. Well, you know what? I think I have the perfect game just for the both of you. It's called Guess the Transport. And we will be discovering different types of transport that kids use to get to school. How do we play? Well, we will be using different types of word clues to describe the transport. Or by using actions as well. Now, shall I start the first one? Sure. Okay. You play along too. Here I come. Hmm. I know, I know, it's a bicycle. That's right, give me five. Some kids cycle to school. Now, Yo Yo, it's your turn. <laughs> dee, dee. Next stop, B sharp. Doors are closing. Well, do you boys and girls know what that is? The MRT? That is correct! Good job! Now, Yaya, it's your turn! It's either a motorcycle or a scooter. Motorcycle. But kids go to school by riding on their, their scooter too. Now, boys and girls, can you name me some other ways kids can get to school? Taxi? You're right. Public transport like the bus? You're right as well. Lots of my friends get a ride in their mummy's or daddy's mm, car. Well, looks like there's so much way kids can use transport to get to school. But let's find out about some of our friends and how they get to school. I take a bus to school. I walk to school. My mommy drives me to school. I cycle to school. Well, we'll talk about the common ways kids use transport to get to school. Let's look at the unusual transport that kids in other countries get to school. Hmm. Cool? Yeah. All right. Check this out. 
kids get to school by writing on the boat? Cool! Where are these school children from? Well, they are from Thailand. It is not unusual for kids in Thailand or other parts of the world to go to school riding a boat. For example, children from Cambodia, India and Venice in Italy all ride to school using boats. What are the unusual ways kids get to school? Well... Ta-da! How about riding in a carriage that is pulled by an animal? Whoa! That looks crowded. That looks like fun, but I think it can be dangerous too. Yup! And you know, in certain parts of the world that is so out of place, this could be the only form of transport. For example, I have a picture over here. If you were an Inuit who is living in the North Pole, this is how you would go to school. You can use dog sled. You mean sled pulled by dogs? That's right. I have another picture over here. These dogs are called husky. And they're specially trained to pull sleds through the cold and slippery snow. There are so many types of weird and wonderful ways of transport from all over the world. Awesome! Maybe one day, I'll get to ride a husky sled. Well, maybe you will. which has three wheels and put it next to number three. Here is my fabulous beauty! Yay! And my greatest rating! Yay! Boys and girls, don't forget to show your support for your favourite team. The team that has the most number of pictures matched correctly in the shortest time possible wins! Teams! Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go! go! Is it the rain of blue team, guys? Look at it! All right, now that both teams have completed, let's check out their bots. For the red team, let's take a look. Motorcycle has two wheels, that's right. A tricycle has three wheels, that's correct. A lorry has four wheels, that's correct. And lastly, a public bus has six wheels, that's correct. So all together, they have one, two, three, four, four points for the red team. And right now, for the blue team. Motorcycle has 
two wheels. A bicycle has two wheels. A tricycle has three wheels. A trishar has three wheels. A lorry has four wheels. A car has four wheels. And a public bus, one, two, three, four, five, six, six wheels. So all together, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven points for the blue team. Good job. a great time today, but sad to say, it's time to go. It was awesome finding out about transport from all over the world. And the different and unusual ways kids get to school. Yeah, like the dog sled and horse drawn carriage. I would love to travel to school in a horse or dog drawn transport. Wouldn't you? Join us again for more great times on My Yo-Yo! My Yo -Yo.